What's going on, everybody? want to thank you for stopping by, pushing play, and giving my channel a chance. My name is Angie. This is Angie Uploaded. And today I've got a little bit of a different kind of video. You can see I've got a few little friends with me. Uh, I do have a love of Funko and uh, pop culture. So today I'm going to kind of merge the two. Uh, have you ever heard of the 27 Club? Well, you want to stick around and find out some things that I have to say about this odd but intriguing club. Welcome back, everybody. I want to thank you again for push and play. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to watch more videos like this and true crime related st stuff, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'll tap that notification bell, it'll let you know every time I upload a new video. So I have always had an interest in the 27 Club. It's oddly, I mean, it, it, it's morbid, but it's so intriguing to me. Now, of course, it's considered an urban legend, but there's a lot of truth to it, you know? Facts. We have seen so many people over the years, musicians, artists, actors, that have passed away at the age of 27. And it's often been a result of substance abuse or a homicide, someone taking their own life or a vehicle accident. <clears throat> now the 27 became more common in 1969, 1971. A biographer wrote the number of musicians who had died at 27 is truly remarkable by any standard. So I'm going to go through a few and I will not list everybody that is a member of this 27 club on this video because honestly this would be the longest video I had ever done if I did that. But if you find this intriguing there is plenty of information out there. Uh, go Go look it up and, and read about it. So you've got in 1969, you've got Brian Jones. Now, Brian Jones was actually the founder of the Rolling Stones. 1970, you have Jimi Hendrix. And 1970, you also had Janis Joplin. <clears throat> 71 went on to the Doors singer Jim Morrison. 94, you've got Kurt Cobain, but the earliest member on record uh, for the 27 Club, his name is Robert Johnson. Now, in 1938, he was a blues, music, a blues musician, and he is the one that is noted for selling his soul to the devil at the crossroads. And I'm going to tell you more about, you know, these people... Uh, in a little bit, and I'm just going to get through a little list. And uh, you've got, in 2003, you had Jonathan Brandis and Jean-Michael Basquel, and I hope I'm saying that right. I saw a documentary on him years ago uh, that was very, very intriguing. Um, and then Amy Winehouse in 2011. So there's all of these people and more. And they all pass away at the age of 27. So, hence, the 27 Club. But we'll get to the part where it actually became club in a minute. So, Kurt Cobain's mom was quoted as saying, Now he's gone and joined that stupid club. 
I told him not to join that stupid club. There have been theories that Cobain timed his death to join the club. Amy Winehouse, of course, she was a great singer and such a talent. And I, all of these people ha are were very talented. Don't don't get me wrong, us, <clears throat> but. Three years earlier, see, she passed away in 2011, but three years earlier, she had expressed her fear of dying at that age. So here's an eerie but fun fact. After Brian Jones's death, Jimi Hendrix and Jim Morrison both paid tribute to Jones. Hendrix dedicated a song to him and Morrison wrote a poem, Ode to L.A. They too would shortly become members and also Jim Morrison's girlfriend, Pamela Corson. She would also die a few years later. At what age, guys? At the age of 27. So now I'm going to get a little more into into detail about the actual deaths of these members and I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Now of course this is nothing new. There are plenty of videos about it, but I have always found it intriguing like I said earlier and I'm curious what other people do think about it. Do you think that people do time, you know, if, if they're, if they're mentally just gone, they're, they're done. Do you think that they time it? You know, of course, when they pass away in that manner. Um, I don't know. But anyway, let's get further into it. Okay. Now in 1994, April 5th to be exact, Kurt Cobain ended his life. He used a weapon and and if you don't know Kurt Cobain, he is the lead singer of Nirvana who sang songs like Smells Like Teen Spirit and Heart Shake Box, etc. Nirvana is known as the one of the main, if not the main band that introduced alternative music to the rest of us in the 90s. It took me a while to grasp it. We'll <laughs> jump on board. But when I did, buddy, I did. Amy Winehouse. She passed July the 23rd of 2020. No, 2011. I'm sorry. Uh, Amy's known for singing songs like Rehab. Wonderful, wonderful voice. Uh, but when she passed, she had a blood alcohol content of 0.416, which is like five times the legal limit. Now, Amy had struggled with, um, with alcohol. And, of course, I had said earlier that just three years prior to her death, you know, she was expressed being worried at joining the club, right? And then you've got Jimi Hendrix. Now, Jimi Hendrix, he passed away in sept on September the 18th, 1970. And what happened to Jimi is he had taken something and he went to sleep. He had vomited in his sleep and asphyxiated on that. But what's odd is that August the 28th of 2000, Sean McCabe, and I hope I'm, I don't know if it's McCabe or McCabe, but he was the singer for the Ink and Dagger. 
the very same thing. He asphyxiated on his vomit and he was found in his hotel room. Also a member of the 27 Club. And that brings us to Janis Joplin. Janis is known for singing songs like Bobby McGee and Peace of My Heart. <clears throat> so she passed away October the 4th of 1970. So not two, not even a month after Jimi Hendrix passed away. And it's presumed that it is the substance H, OD. And what's weird is that the person whom she received her substances from had other clients that passed away the same weekend. Jim Morrison, he actually passed away uh, July the 3rd of 1971. He passed in his bathtub and it, it is presumed that it is substance H, OD. There are several versions out there though. Brian Jones, which here's another weird one. He passed away July the 3rd, 1969. So I just said that Jim Morrison passed away July the 3rd of 1971. Just another one of those odd things. But he drowned in his pool one month after he was released from the band that he helped found, the Rolling Stones. You know, they sang songs like Angie. <laughs> So, but he was released due to substance issues. June the 16th, 1994, another member would join, Kristen Bath. Now, Kristen was a bass player for the group Hole, and Courtney Love fronts this band, so she sings for the group Hole. Courtney Love was married to Kurt Cobain. So it is said that that is um, substance H O D as well. Anton Yelchin. Now Anton was known for roles uh, such as Pavel Chekhov on the J.J. Abrams reboot of Star Trek. He also had roles in Alpha Dog and Bright Night. And Anton, Anton was crushed between his fence and his SUV. He was at the fence and the SUV rolled down and when it did, there was, there was nothing that could be done. Just a very, very tragic story there. And I said a little bit about Robert Johnson earlier. 1938, he's the one that sold his soul to the devil at the crossroads. Um, blues musician. And what happened with him was that he went to the little juke joint one night and he drank Poisoned whiskey. Dun -dun -dun. Like, man, you can't make some of this stuff up. And the more I dug, because I've all, like I said, always been in trade, but the more I dug, it was like, oh Lord. And there's still more. So I love all kinds of music. And back in the day, I loved punk music, you know, like the Ramones and Rancid. Well, there was also a band called The Gits, G-I-T-S, and Mia Zapata, uh, she was a singer, the singer in the group, and July the 7th of 1993, Mia was beaten, arred, strangled, and left for dead. And it was only blocks away from the last place that she had been seen alive. A lot of things happen in July. 
I mean, it, it's, I don't know. <clears throat> but then we move on to Jean Michael Basquiat. In 1998, excuse me, in 1988, he would pass um, from substance H O D. He was an artist, he was a musician. And like I said earlier, I watched an indie film. And if I can find the name of it, I'll put it in the description below or I'll put it somewhere in here. He really had such an interesting life. And to fight with the demons that he fought with and substance, you know, mental. Um, but said such a beautiful person it was really interesting to me and like I said I, I saw that years ago way before YouTube um, but like I said if I can find it I'll I'll list it below <clears throat> and back in the day uh, before my time there was a song called Earth Angel and also Good Night My Love I was brought up to these kinds of this kind of music because uh my mom, you know, we, that that's what we listened to was the oldies to me. Um, anyway, Jesse Belvin is the writer of Earth Angel and Good Night, My Love. And on February the 6th of 1960, Jesse was in a two-car collision after fleeing a segregated dance hall in Little Rock, Arkansas. It is believed that the car had been tampered with and the tires were slashed prior to the collision. All four occupants in Belvin's Cadillac were killed as well. Another member is Jonathan Brandis. I pause because Jonathan was in my time frame I, I've seen him on multiple things, and he was one of those that would be in the Team Beat and the Team Bop magazines. <clears throat> but anyway, on April the 12th of 2003, he would take his own life. Um, it was in his apartment building where he would hang himself. Uh, Jonathan Brandis was known as Kevin Buchanan on the soap opera One Life to Live. He was also in The Never Ending Story 2. He starred in movies like Sidekicks and Ladybugs. But because of my age, I remember Jonathan from being on, you know, guest shots, episodes uh, of Blossom, Full House, and The Wonder Years. So, Jonathan had struggled with mental issues, and he finally ended it all, sadly, at the age of 27, joining this, as Kurt Cobain's mom would say, stupid club. Now, in December of 2011, there was a study published in the British medical journal that concluded there was no increase in the risk for musicians at the age of 27. Although sampled musicians focused an increase of death in their 20s and 30s, though not limited to the age of 27. Many songs have referenced the 27 Club. Fall Out Boy has done, Juice World, and then Mac Miller, who actually passed away at 26 on September the 7th of 2018, of a substance OD. Uh, he has a song called Brand Name, and in the lyrics, it says, To everyone who sells me drugs, I don't mix it with that bullshit. I'm hoping not to join the 27 Club. Mac actually ingested some counterfeit um, pills that contained fentanyl. 
So in conclusion, um, I can find 65 members. There may be more. And then there's a one more interesting person, fact. Benjamin Keoff. And I know I am butchering that last name. He is the son of Lisa Marie Presley, which makes him the grandson of Elvis Presley. And in July, another July here, 12th of 2020, he took his own life with a weapon. So somewhere in here, I am going to list information for anyone who is struggling. Reach out. And for you others, check on your people. Famous, not famous. And, you know, when, when you are famous, you have access to things that other people don't. You have money, you have unlimited resources, and people don't like to tell you no. Love them enough not to enable. Pay attention to mental states. And this is, you know, for anybody. Check on your people. But this is all that I have for the 27 Club. Do you find it as intriguing as I do? It's just, it's always fascinated me. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you, is there a member of the 27 Club that you would like to talk about? Put it in the comments. We'll have a whole conversation in there. And then if we get enough buildup around it, I'll do another whole video and I will actually put your comments on. So yeah, join me. <laughs> but if you don't mind, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I'm coming up with all different kinds of videos. And if you have a video idea, please list it in the comments or you can find me on Instagram and send me a message. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Angie and I have just uploaded.